Hey folks, it's the pre-lecture for Introduction to Biotechnology. This is Module 10, and um, we're over the hump. We're in the last third of this class. There are only 15, 16 modules, so you're almost there. Module 10 is pretty intense. 11 and 12 will also be pretty intense, but after that, intensity kind of goes down again. So this is the most, um, in terms of content, mixing science, with some complicated um, uh, techniques. So hang in there. This, this one is, we got a lot on our plate. So what are, what are we gonna do this module? Well, the first thing is to talk about polymerase chain reaction again. Um, but in this case, we're gonna talk about how to use the polymerase chain reaction to measure the amount of either DNA or RNA in a sample. And so we're gonna combine thinking about why there would be more RNA, more DNA, things having to do with gene expression or the presence of an organism, and mix that with the technique polymerase chain reaction, which relies upon um, uh, the foundation of DNA replication, which is what cells use when a new cell is made. So PCR is a complicated thing, and we're adding another um, aspect to it, which is a way to quantitate it, and the big piece here is using fluorescence to quantitate that. So the first part of um, our lesson is about how to quantitate uh, genes or quantitate um, nucleic acids. Then we do a really quick review of microbiology, which is a whole course. Um, you know, you could take a whole class in microbiology, but we're just going to kind of whiz through it to understand how microorganisms are used in biotechnology. And um, it's a rich amount of information. Um, you don't have to memorize everything about it, but um, do understand sort of the general idea of using microbes and some of the ways that we use them as tools. Um, and we will spend a little bit of time just talking about microbes in the real world, how bacteria or viruses are part of our, the normal um, field of biology. And if that's not enough, um, we're going to sort of tie both of those things back, the molecular aspects that we'll touch on in PCR, and sort of using organism aspects that we're talking about in microbiology, and talk about making protein products. And we'll focus on a single company called Genencore, which is in the Bay Area, and they're pretty great. So that's the content. Um, so to prepare for listening to all that content, do do the reading. Um, the first part of the reading is a review of polymerase chain reaction and the molecules involved. So use that to review, try to understand the basic idea. Don't feel like you have to memorize everything. Um, the other part of the reading is microbiology. It's the chapter about microbiology. And again, um, don't read it to memorize it, but really spend some time reading the microbiology section, page 119 to 135. Read it carefully. Don't whiz through it. Um, you don't have to feel like you're going to be tested on every single aspect, but at the same time, um, you need to read for more than just the general idea at this time, okay? And finally, um, you got a quiz. Quiz is pretty standard. You're going to get to try it twice, but both scores will be averaged, so make sure you're ready when you, when you take the quiz the first time. And finally, as far as assignments go, um, there's a regular discussion coming up but you also are gonna have an executive summary assignment and the explanation of how that goes is at the end of module 10, but um, expect by Monday um, of the week, maybe probably earlier, you'll be emailed another classmate's report, like the one that you turned in, but as long as you turned in one, you're gonna get one from a classmate. You will read their report and you will prepare an executive summary and that's due at the end of this module. And the, um, the one thing to keep in mind is, A, understand what your classmate did and crystallize that into a paragraph. I think if, it, if you were an executive, you don't have a lot of time, you want large documents condensed into small little nuggets of information. And so that's what you're practicing preparing in this assignment, is taking lots of information and summarizing the main points into a very brief, condensed version. So as you're reading your classmates' report, think about how can I summarize this if I had to talk to somebody for two minutes, what would I say? Um, so work on that. Shorter is better in this case, but you have to make sure to you know, include all the important content. So that's your challenge, executive summary, and um, definitely email if you've got some questions about that, or if you don't get um, a classmate's report to summarize. Okay.
Have a great week. Remember, this is an intense one, this Module 10, and Module 11 slash 12 will also be pretty intense. So get your, your biotech brain power going, okay? See you soon. Bye.